Well, these videos are always fun to make. And very stressful at the same time. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, don't forget to subscribe. And make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. Okay, so all the bad jokes you hear on this channel aside, and trust me, they're a lot, in my personal life, I like to remain a very positive individual. I always like to look at the bright side of things. And I tend to apply this to the channel itself. Why am I bringing this up? Because most of the games that I always talk about on here, in fact a big majority of them, are all games that I enjoy. Titles that take me to my happy place. You know, butterflies and rainbows and all that stuff. Today, however, we're gonna be doing something a little bit uh, different. These games that I'm about to talk about are games that I tried to get into, but for one reason or another... I just couldn't. Not saying every game on this list is a bad game, it's just that for whatever reason, it just wasn't for me. And I would love to know, what games did you try on the PS Vita that you just couldn't get into? I'm curious to know, please leave me a comment in the section that is the comment section. Anyway, uh... Here are mine. Now to start off this walk of shame list, we're gonna begin with Mecho Tales. You remember how about 20 seconds ago I just said that not all the games on this list I consider bad? Well, this isn't one of them. This game is... Uh, is pretty bad. Oh, and this is an arcade distillery title, which probably should come as a surprise to nobody. So in this game, you play as a little thief. No, I don't mean as in a little thief. I, well, I'm assuming that is what he is, but that's actually his name, Little Thief. An angel, some undescribable thing that kind of hovers over him. And it's up to you to go on a 2D platforming adventure. Sounds good on paper, doesn't it? But it's not. Now I will give credit where credit is due here. The visuals in this game are pretty nice for 2D or 2.5D maybe, I'm not sure. And also the music. Much like with many arcade distillery games, the music is just fantastic. It's all live orchestra. But that's where the good stuff ends. Now when I first heard about this game, I thought, all right, a 2D platformer on the Vita. And what's even cooler is that you control the little angel character or whatever and are able Able to rotate and shoot in any direction that you please. So in that instant, it kind of becomes a 2D platformer slash twin stick shooter kind of sorta, which sounds like it would be awesome. Which again, it's nice on paper, but not in reality. But unfortunately for this game, it's not. You see, it is hampered with a ton of glitches. Sometimes I fall through the level, wouldn't be able to go up ladders, and there are even some instances where the game would just flat out refuse to load the next level. Joy. Oh, and speaking of the levels, they too are pretty uninspiring. Many of them just look like random Tetris blocks and something you could make in a user-generated level editor. I don't mean that in a good way either. The bosses were pretty okay though, and they required some strategy when they weren't glitching. So overall, a pretty bad experience for me. Though some of you out there may be surprised to learn that I actually did in fact beat this game. As the old country song goes, what was I thinking? This next game might just be controversial amongst many gamers out there, like many of my picks you end up usually being. This is Super Hydora, and I got two words for you. Life Force on the NES. Wait, that's four words. But that's pretty much what this game is, or in this case, tries to be. And for the most part, it does a very good job at it. In fact, I wouldn't even say that this is a bad game, but a good game. The controls are solid, you get a lot of power-ups, you have those oh-so-beautiful scan lines that make retro gamers such as myself salivate at the mouth. A variety of enemies, and the music and graphics are a treat to listen to. So you might be wondering then, why exactly am I putting this in my games I couldn't get into list? It all comes down to one thing, the game's difficulty. This is a very, very difficult game, like NES hard, or I guess in this case Super Nintendo hard because it kind of looks like it'd be on that platform. You see, it's one of those titles where you get very limited continues that you don't even have at the beginning and, and thus must earn one hit, yes you heard me right, one hit deaths, which yes are pretty common in schmuck but your aircraft goes so slow that it's so easy to get hit by multiple enemies. Oh, and did I mention that when you die, you go back. To its credit, you can save your progress, but once you run out of continues, you have to start the game all over again. My OCD doesn't like that, by the way. Now, you can get some power-ups that kind of help out in this category, you know, with the only taking one hit thing. Oh, but did I mention that your invincibility frames are pretty much non-existent? Yeah, you can get a shield, but if you have two bullets coming out at you, one will take the shield away, and then one will kill 
kill you almost in an instant, so in some regards you might as well not even have it. And it's sad too, because when I replayed this game, in order to get reacquainted for this video, I actually had some fun. That is until I got to level 2 and 3, then I just wanted to pull my hair out. So overall, I do recommend this game, but only for the hardcores out there, or for people out there who I guess just like more stress in their lives. Next up is Xenon Valkyrie Plus, and much like with Super Hydora, it kinda suffers a similar fate with me. You see, this is a roguelike adventure that does include RPG elements, and I would even go as far to say it's sorta kinda borderline Metroidvania, only the levels regenerate, randomly I might add, so maybe? Does that count? I'm not sure. And once again, I have to say, the controls are good, the power-ups are fun, and the bosses are a blast to play. Just as before though, it all comes down to difficulty with this one. Now don't get me wrong, I love difficult games, but with titles such as these, it's one of those instances where you start at level 1, try to make it as far as you can in the game, but if you die, you end up going all the way back to the beginning of the game at level 1 again. It's instances like these in my life that make me want to go like car fires. I'm cool with with hard games, but not with repetitive ones, that force you to lose your progress I might add. Now there are towers that do let you start off from a previous world that you have completed. The only problem with that is that you still start off at level 1, which makes it very difficult to try and regain your levels back in order to progress further. Honestly at that point you might as well just start over. Oh and did I mention that if you turn off the game, that tower is officially gone and you gotta start all the way back from stage 1 once again. Anyone out there wanna go like car fires with me? I'm all up for it. Now the reasons why I like this game wasn't just because of that whole going back thing, although <laughs> it also came down to some design choices from the developers. For instance, and you probably have noticed this by now, your characters are very very tiny on screen. And keep in mind, I played this on my PS Vita TV, and even then I still kinda struggled to see my character. I can only imagine just how tiny they would be on an actual Vita. And this doesn't help when you try and do melee attacks to the enemies, which are very close range, which means many times you will end up getting hit yourself. And you drop like like a stone whenever you jump. But don't worry about all that because you have a gun that can shoot out projectile bullets. Oh and did I mention that for some odd reason whenever you're fighting a boss they disable the ability for you to use projectile attacks. Like for just no reason, you just can't use them. I guess the developers just wanted to be jerks. So <sighs> pile that all together and it makes it for a very tedious and repetitive experience. And sadly this game just wasn't for me. Well, uh, that's enough stress for one day. So everyone, what did you think of my lists? Have you played these games before? Did they frustrate you? Or did I kind of tickle your fancy and make you curious about playing them yourselves? <laughs> Please don't, unless you're a masochist. And again, what games do you recommend as a non-recommendation to what you should play on the PS Vita? Yeah, I think I got that right. Please leave your suggestions down below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all. And I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to... Makis Blob, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Zakrito, Alan Iwazu, Reiko Star, Neo Arashi, Shin Snake, Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, Mishuga360, Michael O'Connor, Rodrigo Vera, Skullshrutugal TCG, David Ray, H Hitter, Crazy Cat, Adam Thury, Wendy K, Jelle, Heston Joseph, Per Sterner, Joseph Shavak, Kevin Enright, Silica, Gutter Drums, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, Claymore Malarkey, Saul Ramirez, Hemdal Imbert, PS Vita S, VG Legends, Kyle Brooks, Richard Cruz, Jared Hado, JR, Chris Foxhound, Robert Sylvester, Hector Gonzalez, Buzz Sayan, Aridri, Kayonko, Rizal Pliskin, No Good, Burz in Mystery, Lacerated 87, Juan M. Hermosillo, Sabin Fire, Jamie, Matt Hargett, Dr. Super Arty, Ricardo Martinez, Mozgus, Tasha Monti, Donut Valley, Eric DeWitt, Nintendo Switch at 2am, and Azumara. And a special thank you to Jun Chen for the recent PayPal donation. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from PlayAsia for anyone 
anyone who is interested in purchasing something from their website, channel merchandise, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. Okay, stress, stress. These games are causing me stress. Where's my coffee? Sorry, this video gave me so much stress, that's all I could think of saying. Thank you.